Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. And, uh, don't forget our Discord server, Tenkar's Tavern. So today, it's a news day, and it's not directly news related to the OSR or RPGs, but it's certainly related to geekdom and news. So, here's the uh, headline from NeimanLab.org. Gizmodo Media Group is sold to a private equity firm, and Univision is out of the English language website business. Now, what does that mean? The name of Gizmodo, really? Who cares, right? Well, Gizmodo, uh, which was originally part of the, I guess, the Gawker Media Group, it's Gizmodo, Jezebel, Deadspin, Lifehacker, Jalopnik, Kotaku, and io9. Now, they were purchased by Univision uh, when Univision was experimenting with getting into English, I guess, uh, I don't want to say English powered, but, you know, English language websites that were trying to expand its reach. I paid $135 million for anything, everything except for Gawker.com in 2016. Gawker itself shut down. No big deal. So all these sites I just mentioned are linked, and there's something that's going to be interesting about that, too. And I don't think, they, uh, I think there's something that's uh, missing from this list. Uh, Polygon. Isn't, I think it's not Polygon one, or maybe it's just affiliated, not really one of them. But in any case... 135 million in 2016 sold to a private equity company for less than 50 million. So it had revenue of 80 million, but still lost 20 million in 2017. These these companies or these labels or however we were looking at them as, which kind of tells you that, um, I, I guess in the culture wars, uh. They, uh, I, I think YouTube channels have taken the place to a large extent in podcasts, I guess, of these geek news sites, which which they have their agendas. Uh, let's be honest, everybody has an agenda to some extent. You can't help it, okay? Or you can't help, you can kind of try to control it, but some are more obvious than others. Now, Kotaku is the one that wrote the uh, published the Gil Gygax article, the one that was timed for Gary Khan, uh, the one that I was named in for m- making a joke with the C word about how, you know, Gil Gygax would trademark the quote C word uh, if she could, which, uh, you know, is a, actually it's a fairly funny joke. I, I, I will take credit for that one and I will stand behind it. Uh, offensive as it may be to some because it's funny. But in any case, uh, Cecilia wrote this article. It, it didn't make... Uh, it, Gail requested the article, I'm sure, through uh, somebody on either in her family or one of the people that you know, manage, quote, quote, manages her. And the article did not come off the way she wanted it to. That is for sure. But Kotaku and everything else I just named is going to be looking at layoffs. You can't sell a company for roughly a third of what you paid for it and expect the people buying it to keep it running as it as it is. They're buying it for name recognition. They're not buying it for staff. They're not buying it for the writers. They're buying it for the names. That is the value that is there, not the people that work there. People that work there have no value in in this case, or very little. Like I said, expect massive, massive layoffs. Now, an interesting side note, which I don't think I addressed at the time, but was when I was at GaryCon, I got a Facebook IM from a reporter from Polygon. And we had... I don't know, spoken back and forth via Facebook uh, private messages a month or so prior, before Kotaku was trying to interview me. 
I didn't think much of it. But at GaryCon, out of the blue, and I think it was Friday night, Friday evening, hey, you got a few minutes? You you want to... You want to talk off the record? Uh, I'm grabbing a smoke. I'm like, and I, I was polite. I was just like, listen, I'm just waiting for the other frogs because we're going out to dinner. And we were. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you know, if you want to get together over the weekend, I'm not too far by. I'm not too far. You know, you can always spin by. and Not for nothing. If I wasn't going to talk to a reporter for Kotaku who was in an email chain with me, I am certainly not going to sit down with another reporter for another organization that does similar types of, of gaming articles to probably discuss why I didn't want to talk to the other person. I, I, I guess I don't know what the questions would have been, but the conversation was certainly not one that I, I was going to have instead of going to uh, – a damn good dinner. So I just, I just thought you would find all that interesting. As for other Gil Gygax stuff, you know, I was getting, uh, I don't know, screenshot dumps throughout the weekend, Friday night, Saturday night. Uh, I, I couldn't go to sleep because my phone kept on going bing, 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 bing. And it was you know, more screenshots being dumped in. So I have a shitload of the Gail Guy gang screenshots. I'm not going to uh, put them up at this point. I don't think there's a need to unless Gail comes back with more of this uh, uh, bullshit storm. It's not even a shit storm. It's, 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 it's bullshit. It's revisionist history. Revising stuff that even Gail told me back in 2015 directly and explaining that she never sued uh, or was sued by Luke and Ernie and anybody else affiliated with T the new TSR. Instead, she filed a legal action to protect her trademark. And the legal costs involved in protecting that trademark or to um, contest that trademark is what the expenses were. Think about that. Okay, this is Gail. Uh late 2015, late November. And her recent statements are that she was sued by new TSR. That, that's, again, she's revising history. She's revising her own words. So hopefully, uh, hopefully she got, she got help. Hopefully there's a reason, that's the reason why we don't see any more on these Facebook postings from her. So, all right, folks. In any case, tomorrow I will probably be talking, unless some other news comes up, about something that Jane Spahn initiated over on Facebook that's linked to All Things Tavern. I think it's pretty cool, but I'll give that a full episode. And other than that, as always, thank you for listening. If you can give us a rating on iTunes, if that's how you listen, it's awesome. Lovely. I owe you one. Um, if you want to support the All Things Tavern, uh, we do have a Patreon. Just look up Ten Cars Tavern on Patreon. You should find it. It's also linked in the show notes. And, you know, God bless. Be safe for all those as well. And I will talk with all of you on the flip side tomorrow. Later, folks.